Just a quick look at gradebook category setup. This happens from the assignments area in Canvas, not from the gradebook itself. These are your categories. I've got laboratory reports, tests, imported assignments is a default that happens when you bring something in from another class, as I've done. To add to the categories, say I want one for presentations, I just add the category and save. They look like modules, but they're not. I'm in the assignments area. These are groups, as they're called in Canvas, gradebook categories, the way most people would refer to them. And I can move things between groups. Suppose I want to move this to presentations for some reason by drag and drop. Or I can move it from over here where it says move to. And I can tell it where I want this thing at. So I want this thing over there, maybe at the bottom. For weights, that's tucked away in this three dot menu on the upper right side, assignment group weights. And if I click on this, I can now assign weights by percent to each of these different areas. So I can say, okay, lab reports are gonna be 70% and tests are going to be 25%. Presentations are remaining five. I don't know what happens if you exceed those numbers. Yeah, 119. I think things will get quirky if they don't add up to 100%, but I assume it rescales things. But that said, uh, that's how you can do assignment you know, groups, categories, and for many, many teachers, they refer to those as grade, grading categories, and they can be weighted through the um, menu on this side here. So uh, you can do that. You also have the ability to do some bulk editing on a assignment dates from here, sort of batch edit mode, if you will. And that's it for this uh, video.